Pope Francis said on Sunday, that people are more important than the economy, as countries decide how quickly to reopen from coronavirus lockdowns. United States President Donald Trump said on Saturday, he would postpone a group of seven summit he had hoped to hold next month, until September or later, and expand the list of invitees to include Australia, Russia, South Korea, and India. Thailand's parliament passed a $58 billion economic support package, on Sunday to ease the impact of the coronavirus. Malta will reopen its airport to passenger flights on July 1, Prime Minister Robert Abella said on Sunday, as the Mediterranean island rolls back restrictions introduced in March to halt COVID-19 infections. British Foreign Minister Dominic Raab defended on Sunday, the government's careful loosening of the coronavirus lockdown, saying it was the right step to be taking at this moment in time. The gradual easing of coronavirus restrictions around the world, included some openings for the faithful, including Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, which reopened to Muslim worshippers and visitors on Sunday after a two-and-a-half-month closure. Spain's Prime Minister said on Sunday he will ask Parliament to agree to a last two-week extension of the state of emergency lockdown until 21 June, after which the government will no longer restrict citizens' movements, newspaper El Pais reported. Saudi Arabia's mosques opened their doors to worshippers on Sunday, for the first time in more than two months as the kingdom, the birthplace of Islam, eased restrictions imposed to combat the coronavirus. China's state media, and the government of Hong Kong lashed out on Sunday, at United States President Donald Trump's vow, to end Hong Kong's special status if Beijing imposes new national security laws on the city, which is bracing for fresh protests. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi warned the country on Sunday, to remain vigilant against the spread of coronavirus, as the country prepares a phased reopening of activities even as daily cases rise to record highs.